Okay, you see, you see. Look, I'm getting my confidence up. Cause right now it's just like, meh. Ooh, girl, I'm doing all kinds of stuff today. Ooh, girl. I'm not gonna do it, I'm not gonna do it, I'm scared. It's a win-win. It's so cute. Yes, 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 yes. Four plus four. Mm-hmm. Eight. Hey girl, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Faye, and for today's video, we are doing a little get ready with me. So several of you guys mentioned in the comments of my Sephora haul video that you really liked the way that I did my makeup for that video. So first and foremost, thank you so much for leaving so many sweet comments. And secondly, I wanted to come on here and kind of show you how I got it. Now I did kind of zhuzh it up a little bit because we tried out a lot of new products that I purchased in that haul and I got a little overexcited and this is what we came up with. But I decided to do a monochromatic peach look inspired by the mini cream blushes that I picked up from Rare Beauty. And honestly, I am obsessed with the way that this came out. It's been a minute since I've done full glam here on this channel and just in general. I thoroughly enjoyed creating this look and trying out all of the new products and I hope that you guys enjoy watching it just as much as I enjoy creating it for you. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this look. All right, y'all, so we're zoomed in. As you can see, we got the tape on the side of the eye so y'all already know. We mean business. We about to really get into it. I honestly don't remember the last time I actually put tape on the sides of my eyes. We really not about to do that much, but I just don't wanna have to worry about getting a crisp line on the edges. So this is a little trick that I do when I wanna get ready quickly and I want my, you know, edges of my eyeliner to be nice and crisp. These are from e.l.f., so I'll link them down below for you guys if you're interested. Sephora has some as well, so I'll link both options. But let's go ahead and get into it. So I wanna do something kinda of like peachy spring, like I'm feeling inspired, like that's the vibe that I'm kind of going for. So that's what we're gonna do. So I found this palette in my like eyeshadow palette drawer. This is from Dose of Colors. This is the Sassy Sienna's palette. And you can see on the inside, these shades are giving all the peachy tone vibes. So this is what we're gonna be using today. I'm gonna to start off first with this brown shade right here. And honestly, you can use whatever palette that you have that has similar colors. So this first brown is kind of like a neutral medium brown shade and I'm gonna use that to put in the crease. Actually, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna start off with this shade right here on the end. So this one is kind of like a light muted peach shade. So we're gonna go in with that first on the crease. And also, if you're curious, I prepped my eyelids with the Too Faced Concealer in Butterscotch, and then I just set it down with um, a pressed powder. I used the one from Urban Decay, this one right here, the All Nighter. If you know, you know, this used to be my jam, girl. As you can see, it still is. This one is completely empty. But I just went in with that on a brush and set my lid just to give us a nice smooth base to work with. And again, like I said, all the products that I'm using will be linked down below. So we're just gonna do the other side. And I just like to kind of stamp the, um, the color down and then buff and blend it out. Okay, so now that we have that transition shade applied, I'm gonna go in with this one right here, the shade right next to it, and I'm gonna apply that just slightly lower than the first shade to deepen up the crease. And don't worry too much about getting this on the lid. It'll end up actually being useful later. So just focus more on keeping it low in the crease and don't worry too much if it gets on the lid if you're following this tutorial with me. Also, if you don't have this palette, another palette that has similar shades is the Morphe Times Jaclyn Hill palette, the volume two. So if you have that palette, it has more of these like kind of peachy, pink, colorful type shades in it. So you could use that as well. Okay, so now that we have that down, I wanna kind of start to deepen up the like outer third of the lid. And for that, I think I'm going to use the next shade over, this one right here. I'm gonna start with this one, and then if I want to deepen it up a little bit more, then I will, but I don't wanna go too dark first. So I'm gonna start with the neutral brown shade, and then we'll see if we wanna deepen it up any more than that. So that definitely didn't add too much depth to this look, but it did add some additional dimension on the eyes. So I do like how it looks, but I want it a little bit deeper on that like outer corner. So I'm gonna mix these two shades right here and just deepen that up just a little bit more. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go in with a clean, fluffy blending brush and just buff out these edges a little bit because I wanna make sure that everything is nice and smooth and we don't have any harsh lines. So we're just gonna buff and blend that out. Okay, so next I'm gonna kind of create a light peachy kind of shade. I'm gonna do that by going in to my Patrick Ta Major Dimensions. Last time I filmed a video, I kept saying Master Matte. I was mixing the Makeup by Mario and Patrick Ta, but Patrick Ta Major Dimension, this is the all matte palette. And I'm gonna take this, actually, I am think I'm gonna do a mixture of these two shades and then a little bit of this first peachy shade and kind of create a lighter peachy tinted shade for the lid. Okay, you see, you see, you see what we're going for? So I literally just like tap, 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 like each three shade, tap, 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 two times to kind of mix them together and just apply it on the lid. So I'm gonna do the other side. Okay, so next, the part that's really gonna take this to the next level, cause right now it's just like meh, but we're gonna take it up to the next level. I'm gonna go in with this Urban Decay Moon Dust in Space Cowboy. I'm sure you guys have been seeing this everywhere it's absolutely stunning it went viral like a couple months maybe now back everybody was just going crazy for this and it's basically like a pressed like a in between between a pressed shimmer and a glitter but you can layer this literally over your bare eyelid over just a little bit of bronzer on the lid like the most basic eye look all the way up to the most glam eye look and it is going to take your look to the next level so this is what i'm going to put on these moon dust do come in a couple of different shades um i had taken out another one but this one is like kind of icy and that's not really what i'm going for and i do like to apply this with my fingers so i'm going to go in and literally just rub straight in there pick up the product and you can see on my finger if it'll focus it doesn't really look like much but girl listen when you put it on your lid chef's kiss so i'm just gonna tap it on there i'm not gonna swipe at first just because i want to control how much is going on the lid and where it's going so i'm just gonna tap and slowly build it up just so that i mean can you oh girl listen just tap 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 and slowly build it up to your you know preferred what's what i'm looking for pigmentation to your preferred pigmentation okay beautiful the eyes are stunning i kind of wish i had one that had like a little bit more of a peachier um like shimmer or undertone to it because it kind of has a peach tone to it but the shimmer is more of like because these kind of are like giving galaxy vibes so it leans a little bit more blue-ish but I think it still looks cute I just wish it was a little more peachy if that makes sense but now I'm gonna go ahead and do a liner I'm not gonna do like a regular wing though if you've been like watching my other tutorials I have been loving doing um liner with shadow and i've been using the master mats yeah mass no the what is this called major dimension i don't know why i have master mats stuck in my head but the major dimension you can use the master mats as well it has like neutrals and it has a black in it as well but i've just been reaching for this one the major dimension palette and i mix these two shades right here the black and the brown the other nice thing about this palette is it has these creams so if you wanted to lay a cream down as a base you could do that as well but today i don't think i'm gonna do that i'm just gonna go in with the shadows and I just use a flat brush like this one, a definer brush, and just use that to like stamp on. But today though, I think I'm gonna do, I use this one when I'm just stamping it on my lash line. But today I think I'm actually going to wing it out. So for that, I use an angle brush. So I'm gonna use this one. And it's just angled, as you can see. Just a thin um, brush. And I just dip back and forth into both shades and then stamp it on my lash line. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And just a tip, on the outer portion, I do like more black than brown. And then as I get to the inner portion, I do a little more brown than black, if that makes sense. So it's kind of like 
an ombre of softness. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and then put on my lash and I'll be right back. Okay, so lashes are on. I zoomed you guys out just a little bit because we're about to get into complexion and then we'll come back and finish up the eyes a little bit later. The lashes I am wearing are these from Eyler. These are the Eyler Times Jordan Woods. These are one of my all time favorite lashes when I want something a little dramatic but still not like too, too much. I will reach for these. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into the face. Also, I forgot to mention to you guys earlier on my lips, I'm using the K Skin. I showed this to you guys in my Sephora haul. I am absolutely loving these. I got the um, this nude one. This is in the shade Nude Ting. So that's what I have on my lips to like moisturize while I'm getting ready. And again, like I said in that video, I have the clear one of this already. Absolutely love. And they're actually pretty affordable. I think they're like $15. And I've been loving these. So yeah. All right. So first up is primer. And the very first one I'm going to use is this one from YSL. This is their new blotting lotion. Since I ran out of my Milk Pore Eclipse Primer, which you guys know I love and am obsessed with, I have been using this one. Initially, I was going to just pick up another um, one from Milk, which I still may do, but I have so many primers that I haven't tried um, or that I just have in my drawer. So I figured I would try out another mattifying primer and just see how I like it. I purchased this forever ago and kind of forgot about it. So I've been using it for the past couple of weeks and I actually really enjoy it. It mattifies the skin nicely and it also leaves it just a little bit tacky, which I like, especially if I'm gonna be applying makeup on top. And then the next primer that I'm gonna be using is this one from Smashbox, an oldie but a goodie. I ran out of my Kali Ray, another one you guys know I absolutely love. I was using it literally all last year. So I pulled this one out as my blurring primer and I've been enjoying it as well so far. So just gonna apply this mostly on like my T-zone where I have large pores that I need to, you know, kind of smooth out and blend it in. And I also like to bring it down on my smile lines and up underneath my eyes where I have fine lines as well, just to smooth the whole center of my face out. Okay, so next up is foundation and I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier Real Flawless Foundation. I have mine in the shade 4C1 Praline. I actually used this in my last makeup tutorial, but I mentioned to you guys that I wish I would have kind of added additional coverage in these areas where I have dark spots. I tried that out again recently, and that was the look that I had on in my last video that so many of you guys um, were complimenting my skin and just the way that my makeup looked. So I'm gonna show you guys how I got that today. So I'm gonna mix it with my Danessa Myricks in shade number seven. This is the Yummy Skin Blurring Balm. You guys already know how much I love this. And since I'm literally scraping the pan, I've been using the spatula. I normally don't use the spatula. I just go straight in with a brush, but I'm trying to make sure that I get every last bit out of this, even though you guys saw, if you watched my haul, I did already purchase another one of these because I literally cannot live without this. I have the translucent shade as well, but I definitely run through the tinted one much, much faster because it's just so easy and convenient. Okay, so now I'm gonna pump some of this onto a concealer brush. I'm gonna do two pumps and I'm just gonna apply that right on top of this. So basically what this is gonna do, it's still gonna keep that glowy kind of serum foundation feel that this has and the radiance that it gives to the skin but the Danessa Myricks is going to also help to control additional oil and give me additional coverage. So I'm gonna spray my face with a little bit of this Porefessional Super Setter and then I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out. Okay, so this looks good, but as you can see, I do still have some of my dark spots peeking through on the skin. So for that, I'm gonna go in with my Born This Way Sculpting Concealer. This one is in the shade Mocha, and I'm just gonna spot conceal those areas. So basically what that's gonna do is help me maintain the kind of light skin-like feel that this foundation gives without it looking like overly cakey and overly like makeup-y, if that makes sense. 
but it's also going to allow me the coverage that I want in those areas, especially any darkness that I have towards the center of my face, because when I go in and highlight, I don't want those spots to kind of be accentuated by me adding like lighter products on top of it. And while I kind of let that sit on the skin, I'm gonna go in with this concealer from One Size. This one is in the shade Dark One In. And I like to use this underneath my eyes to kind of color correct and conceal before I highlight. So I'm just gonna pop that under there. Also, I like to do some on the sides or like on my upper lip, I guess. And I'll blend that up around my nose because I get a little bit of redness there. So I'm gonna let that kind of sit on the face, bust out my little fan that I've been using to help it dry down a little bit faster. And then we're gonna blend it out. And for this, I'm actually gonna use a brush because I wanna be really precise and just a tip, when you're blending out areas that you spot concealed, you want to tap lightly and kind of like in circular motions. You don't wanna do too much tapping directly on top of the spot that you're trying to conceal because you don't wanna blend all of the coverage away. So you kinda just wanna tap lightly over the area and then blend around it to blend it into the rest of your complexion products. Okay, so this is how the skin is looking. I should have done it before and after, but it literally looks a million times better. And then what I'll do is go in with a translucent powder, like this one, I'm gonna use this one today, the Urban Decay All Nighter. I prefer something pressed, so like this, or like um, the Charlotte Tilbury one. And I'm just gonna go in with my powder brush and lightly just dust a little bit of powder over top of those areas that I added additional coverage so that when I start going in with my lighter concealer, that doesn't move, if that makes sense. So not too much powder because we're not done. We're going in with creams or with more liquids, but I just wanna lightly set that area so that that product does not move once I go in with more. And I'm gonna show you how to keep it from like getting weird. Basically all you do, well, let's just do it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and conceal the rest of my under eyes. And for that, I'm gonna use, we'll go in again with the, um, the Fenty concealers since these are new and I hauled these for you guys recently. So these are the We're Even concealers and I have the lighter one in the shade 350C and the darker one in 370N. So I'm gonna apply the lighter one closer to the inner corner and the um, deeper one, like, you know, not closer to the inner corner, if that makes sense. Okay, and then what we're gonna do to get a seamless blend, since we apply powder, is we're going to add a little bit of setting spray before we blend it out. So you can really use whatever you wanna use. Since I'm already using um, this one, I already have it out. I'll just use this one again, the Benefit Super Setter. So I'm gonna spray that on the face and then blend out the concealer. Okay, so before I set my face, because I almost forgot, we are gonna go in with these blushes from Rare Beauty. And since I'm going in with a cream blush, I'm also gonna do a cream bronzer today. So for cream bronzer, I'm gonna use this one from LYS. And I actually completely forgot to do this. I meant to do this before I blended out my concealer, but it's okay. So I'm just going to actually go straight in. If you've watched my other videos, I normally will pick this up on a brush, but I saw someone else, I've seen several people just apply this straight to their face and it still blends out. I don't know, I'm not gonna do it, I'm not gonna do it, I'm scared. Okay, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna use a brush because I know if I use a brush, I can control the placement and I feel like my base is eating right now and I don't wanna mess it up. So I'm just gonna use a brush. We'll try the other way another time, but I'm just gonna use this um, flat brush that I have. This one's from Morphe, but e.l.f. has one like this as well. And I literally just swipe it on the product and then apply it to my face.
Okay, this is quickly becoming full glam, which was not my intention, but it's okay, I'm not mad at it. And also, while I'm blending this out, I was just sitting here thinking about this. Did anybody that's watching this video see the solar eclipse on, was that yesterday? Well, today I'm filming this on the 10th. Today's Wednesday the 10th. Um, it was on the 8th, so that would have been Monday, I think. Did y'all see the eclipse? Like, in person, I mean. Like, were any of you guys in the path of totality? Or did you travel to the path of totality? I'm in Atlanta, so we were not in the path of totality, and we could not feasibly get to it, um, you know, in time. But the last time that there was a solar eclipse, the path of totality went across Columbia, South Carolina, which is where my husband is from. So, and his parents still live there. So we went up there for it. And when I tell you, it's something you have to experience at least once in your lifetime because it is incredible. Even seeing the, even for us here in Atlanta, even though we weren't in the path of totality, even what we could see, and we had, we forgot to get like the little glasses too. So we had like some little ghetto makeshift <laughs> glasses where we literally just stacked like two pairs of um, Ray-Bans. And then my husband had like one of those uh, filters that goes on the front of his camera lens so that we could look up and see it. And we still were able to see like a decent, it wasn't like complete coverage and complete darkness, but we still were able to see um, like some of the shadow and it still got dark and like you can hear all the night, like animals and creatures coming out. And we had our dog outside and he was looking like, what is going on? But yeah, it honestly is probably top 10 things like coolest things that I've ever experienced um, when we went and we're actually in the path of totality. Like it is insane. I was telling my husband, I couldn't imagine being alive like hundreds of years ago, like before all these explanations, thanks to science and all of that stuff where like it was literally just you and nature and trying to explain or understand what literally looks like an eye in the sky it's like crazy. So yeah, let me know down below. I know that's like kind of random, unrelated, but I know that happened this week. And so I was just curious if any of you guys have experienced it before um, or, and I'm bringing this like into the contours of my eye too. Um, but yeah, if any of you guys have experienced it before or if you were able to experience it this time and like what were your thoughts about it, I'm just curious because that was something that I was just randomly thinking about while I was blending out this contour. But anyways, girl, that looks good. I like how that looks. I'm going back in with um, my concealer blender. And then before we set, we're gonna use these liquid blushes. This is my first time trying liquid blushes from Rare Beauty, so I'm very excited. I know they've been like all the rage <laughs> lately. So if you didn't watch my haul, I have two shades. I have Joy and I have Virtue. And these are actually the blushes that inspired this look because they are peachy tones. And I kind of wanted to create a look around these blushes. So that's how we got here. So I'm gonna do Virtue towards the back of my cheek and Joy, which is the peachier shade, towards the front of my cheek. And then we're gonna blend it out. Okay, I didn't apply a lot. I'm nervous. <laughs> All right, let's blend it out. So the brush I'm using is this one from LYS. This is their Sculpt and Bronzing Brush. It kind of comes to like a little bit of a point. I didn't really have anything else that I felt like made sense for this, so I'm just gonna use this one and we're gonna blend it out. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm wondering if I should have, oh no, they blend out really nice. I was gonna say, I'm wondering if I should have um, just did one cheek at a time. Ooh! Not me about to become a cream blush girly. This gorgeous. I am shook. If you know, you know. I am an oily skin girl and I have not touched a liquid blush like this. I've been getting so much more into cream products lately, just experimenting and not being afraid to try things. This is Stunning. Okay, we're gonna add more because now look, I'm getting my confidence up. So <laughs> we're gonna add a little bit more because um, they actually blend out so nice. And I'm gonna do a little bit more of this. Okay, so 
Selena. I'm gonna have to get more of these because now the door has been opened, okay? And I'm into it. Okay, I might have, I might have, I might have overdid it a little bit this time. Cause now, well, no, 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 no. It looks cute, it looks cute. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm shook. Okay, let me not bring it down too much. And I'm gonna bring it up like, I've been seeing people bring it up close to their eye. So I'm gonna do that too. And then we're gonna blend out the other side. Wow, no wonder these are viral. And I love that she came out with these minis for people like me that have been on the fence about trying them. Or maybe it wasn't for people like me. Maybe it was for people that already love them and they want them to travel with. But I have been on the fence about trying them just because I have been like slowly dipping and dabbling into the cream products. And I'm so glad that she came out with these minis because it actually encouraged me to try it. I picked them up during the sale, obviously. And they're like 12 or $14. And then on top of that, you're getting a discount. So it's a win-win. And I'm so glad I tried it. I'm gonna put a little on my nose. Oh girl, I'm doing all kinds of stuff today. Okay, 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 we're gonna stop. It's so cute. I'm looking over here because my viewfinder is over here. But oh, it's so cute. All right, so now we're gonna set the face. I'm gonna use my tried and true one size. Whenever you're trying a lot of new things, whatever are like your like holy grail products, you wanna mix some of those in just so that, you know, you can kind of have balance. So that's what I'm trying to do. So we're gonna set with one size and then I'm actually gonna do my brows off camera and then I'll be right back. Okay, so brows are on and I went ahead and did my lower lash line as well outside of my lower lash mascara just to get that out of the way. I used the same shades that we used on the lid, on the bottom and did a little bit of black and brown like on the lash line, lower lash line. So girl, let's go ahead and finish this up cause I feel like I've been sitting here forever. So this is how we're looking. So now I'm basically just gonna go through and set the rest of the face. Um, Using these cream products, I'm wondering if I should just set as normal. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go in first with my one size powder. This one is in the shade Medium Dark 6. Looks like this. So I'm gonna use that to just set the rest of my face that I didn't set already. And I am of course gonna go in and, ooh, that was too much. Go in and um, go over the blush and the bronzer, but just want to set everything in place and I actually don't have anywhere to go which is unfortunate because this look is really eating and no one's even gonna see it besides me and well I guess you guys are gonna see it on this video but I'm saying like outside no one's gonna see <laughs> um for bronzer I'm gonna use this one from Charlotte Tilbury this is the airbrush bronzer in the shade number three I've really been enjoying using this lately so I'm gonna go ahead and dust this over all of the areas that I bronzed that I cream bronzed and I really don't have to do a lot because the cream bronzer is really having her moment. <laughs> so I don't really have to, I'm honestly just setting this and just kind of bringing it back to life after applying the, um, the powder, but a lot is really not needed. And then to set the creams, I don't have a peachy blush. So if you have any recommendations, let me know. I know House Labs has some really cute ones. So yeah, if y'all have any recommendations, let me know down below. But this one is from Too Faced. This is the Blurring Blush in Golden Hour. It's kind of like a pinky peach. So I think it'll work for this look. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to the cheeks. Okay, for this look, this really just isn't giving it to me. I was trying not to pull this out because this is not, well, first before I do that, let me try this palette. No, I don't wanna use that. I was gonna look at this one, but I don't wanna use it. I know this isn't available, but it has the shade that I need. So this is the Jaclyn Cosmetics Rouge Romance. Again, I know that this brand is no longer available, but if you have it, you can use it for this look. And I'm gonna go in with a mixture of Fancy Pants and then this one right next to it to get that peachy color that I'm going for. Yes, 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 yes. See this? 
is what I was trying to get. If we're gonna be monochromatic peach, we have to go all the way, okay? And then for highlight, I'm using this new one from Fenty Beauty. I picked this up during my haul that I shared with you guys. This is the Demi Glow Light Diffusing Highlighter in the shade Yum Rum. These are absolutely stunning, honestly, and such a little bit of this goes a long way. I'm gonna apply it on my inner corner as well, just to tie all of the colors together. I'm also gonna go ahead and apply my lower lash mascara. I'm gonna be using this one from Benefit. This is the Their Real Magnet in the shade Black, I believe. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this on the lower lashes. Okay, and then last but not least is the lip. And I'm actually gonna do the same lip that I did in my other video because I've just been obsessed with it. Except this time I have two lip liners that you can actually purchase. So I have the one size lip liner in the shade Rent Do, which is the one that I picked up during the haul that I shared with you guys. And then the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in Limitless Brown. And then I'm gonna top that off with this Anastasia lipstick in the shade Warm Peach. And then on top of that, I'm gonna go in with Sweet Mouth from Fenty Beauty. Okay, and then last but not least, we're gonna set the face. Today I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish, I think it's what it's called, setting spray, to set the face. Okay, so this is how the face is looking so far. Get into the skin, girl, it's really eating. So I'm gonna go ahead and let my hair down and all of that, and then I'll be back to give you my final thoughts on all the products we tried out. All right, y'all, so I am back. I comb my hair down. This is the finished look, the finished face. What do y'all think about this monochromatic pink look? Was it giving, I don't know about y'all, but it's giving very much four plus four. Mm-hmm, eight, she ate it right on up. This looks so good. And again, like I said, it's so unfortunate that I have nowhere to go, but I'll have to remember this look because somebody needs to see this more than the internet, more than me, more than my husband, more than my dog Apollo. Somebody needs to see this because it looks so good. And I could just be, you know, a little biased or just a little excited because honestly, when was the last time we did glam on this channel? Like, is glam making a comeback? I've been seeing a lot of the girls getting more into actually putting that on their face, okay? The little clean girl aesthetic, she's cute, but I've been seeing a lot more girls getting back to the glam. So y'all let me know down below, like, is it making a comeback or nah? But regardless, I thoroughly enjoyed sitting here, playing in makeup, creating this look for you guys, showing you my updated way of using this foundation. I was originally considering potentially returning it, but now that I've kind of used it a couple of more times and figured out how to make it work and fit for me, I have really been enjoying that foundation. It wears beautifully throughout the day. And even though I do get a little, I wouldn't say oily necessarily, like because this is like a very skin-like, um, hydrating kind of radiant foundation, it does give that on my skin. But when I go in with the right primers and setting sprays, I can literally just pat the areas that I get a little bit more oily or dewy and I'm good to go for an additional, you know, couple hours. So I loved everything that I tried. These, oh, she did her big one. So excited that I picked those up and tried them out. If you've been on the fence, definitely try them out. They have the minis now, like I showed you guys, and they just blend like a dream. Super easy to use, perfect for beginners, or even if you're not a beginner. I haven't purchased any new eyeshadow palettes recently, so I kind of just used what I had because I wanted to do a little bit more for this look and give you like a full start to finish, you know, tutorial. But if you guys have any eyeshadow palettes that you think I should check out or try out, Leave them for me down below in the comments. You guys already know how I feel about this lip. If you watched my last video, this has been my go-to nude. Absolutely in love with it. And you guys also know how I feel about this highlighter. If you have not tried these out, definitely go in the store, swatch them, see for yourself. I'm just gonna go ahead and warn you, if you do go in the store and swatch these, you're gonna end up purchasing one because they really are that good. I have not been excited about a highlighter in a very long time and they really did a great job with this one. So that is all that I have for you guys for today's video. If you enjoyed it or if you like this look, give it a thumbs up. Or if you want more glam tutorials on the channel, give it a thumbs up and let me know down below in the comments. I'll have everything that I used in this video listed and linked for you guys down below, of course, as well as to the Sephora site if you wanna add anything from this video to your cart. So thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye.